everyone welcome back to my channel Rebecca here and so I started this a couple days ago and I used the my mind's eye happy days kit and nothing else maybe you know just mixed media and stuff but as far as um, and forgive my nails I've only got half of them not even done so I wanted to show you um, I did pull in some cardstock but other than that I was able to get six layouts done by just using this one my mind's eye page kit and I had the pattern paper kit I had the chipboard the sticker sheet and then I had um, the die cuts ephemera and a sticker book so there's a process video on this one on the page and I used a page map sketch this one was just this one piece of pattern paper this is the back side to it this is the, this and you know was the reverse and some chipboard pieces die cuts and then I was able to use a little bit of the stickers and die cuts up here so that was the first one I got done and then this is the second one that I did and I used some more of the same pad this was you know just cardstock I used the back side of one of the pattern papers and I cut into a new sheet and this is the back side and some chipboards and I, I did pull out this title um, that did not come with the kit obviously but so I was able to get this done this was the third one that I created and I used the majority of that paper and some more of this paper and this paper I put some doilies on there and super embellished. I got a lot of the chipboard pieces on this one and some of the die cuts. The fourth layout. Uh, there's a process video on this one as well. And got some more. This is, you know, white cardstock, but I got some more of the pattern paper on here. I did pull some washi from my stash. Some chipboard pieces, ephemera pieces. I was able to get more used up on this. The fifth one. I pulled in these words in this cardstock. Um, was able to use up the houses and just some of these random numbers. So it just says two, three, four, five. There's no meaning to the number or anything. And I pulled in these um, alphas from um, let's see from Pink Fresh Studio called Dream On. They were sitting over here in my kit. And I also used some more of the Pink Fresh Studio hearts. So that is all that I have left in the hearts. I have been working through these for the past several months. So pretty impressed with that one. And then the sixth and final layout that I got done, I used the last sheet of pattern paper that I had was the chickens on one side and this pink on the other. And I had this scrap of blue right there. So I... There was one piece that I had flowers on it and I um, fussy cut those out and the leaves out and put them all over. So um, that was what I got. That was the last layout that I got. And out of the whole kit, this is the only piece of pattern paper that I have left. So I'm probably just gonna scrap that. Um, I have a couple pieces left on the chipboard there's just two on that one and significantly more over here but for the most part just you know a couple pieces as well um, didn't use a lot of the stickers that I thought I would I did use most of the tags and the flowers and this sticker sheet I have learned that I don't really use stickers I'm not really big on the stickers more of the die cuts and the chipboard so still a lot of that left and as far as the die cuts from two packs, uh, the ephemera and the die cut, this is all that I have left. A couple numbers, a couple tags, ice cream cones, and some more circles. So all in all, I say success and um, page kit well used. So I'm going to try this every once in a while. I have several over here that I have picked up from like Tuesday morning and the scrapbook convention that I went to a while ago. So I'm going to try to use the 2D Fruity here, the uh, My Mind's Eye 2D Fruity, and I also have Simple Stories Hello Summer. So I'm going to try this little, I guess, series again on that. 
um, see how many layouts I can get done using, and that, like I said, using only the, that, the materials that came with it, other than, you know, washi tape and maybe some letters here and there, but, so yeah, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, go ahead and click that subscribe button below, and any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments below, and I will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours, see you guys next time, bye!